something in our lives. There has to be a testimony. There has to be a testimony. Now this man received his healing. But then when he took his bed and started to walk, the Jews started to ask him, it's not normal for you to carry your bed on the Sabbath day. Who did this thing? He said, who made this? The man that cured me, told me to carry my bed. Who is he? He didn't even know who he was. Jesus in his infinite mercy had mercy 
man. The water stopped troubled because one man had gone in there and received his healing. But here comes Jesus, granted grace, granted mercy upon this man because he knew he was in this situation for 38 years. Some of us have been in situations for 38 years. Some of us have been in it for longer and still have not yet received our deliverance. And the situation faces us every day. We're in it every day. We go home with it. We go to bed with it. We rise up again with it. We come to church. We go out again. We come in. We go to work. And it still remains with us. But today, today, the water is troubled today. If you want to receive the healing today, don't worry about the next person beside you. If you sincerely want a healing, if you want Jesus to work on your behalf, whether it's a marital situation, hallelujah, whether it's children, whether it's a husband or a wife, or not having a husband or a wife, whatever the situation is, glory be to God. Whether you're lonely, glory to God. Whether you need healing, Jesus is here.